Good morning. It's a flip flops. Molly's Island Peeps. Good morning. Flip flop yeah. wears. <laughs> Today is Saturday, June 12th. Look at the 2021. Okay, I'm coming. Turn it right to right bird right now. I'm going, I'm going. Turn it. Okay, okay. Look at the red bird. The beautiful cardinal. Oh, let's get him. Let's look at him. You ready, uh, one? Good morning, Polly's Island peeps. Oh, oh goodness. Really? Look at the pretty red bird. Lovely. He's, <laughs> look how beautiful he is. Leave it right there. We're getting some people. We want everybody to see him. Oh, there he went. Okay. Come All on. right. We'll turn it. All right, this... we're going to turn it again. All right, I'll fix it. Yeah, you'll make him sick. Ooh, there you okay. go. There we go. Today's June 12th. June 12th, 2021. And it's, it's Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> and it's time for your Polly's Island, Island sunrise, sunrise and surf, surf report. report. With Lisa Clayton. And Dave Clayton. Sunrise is in four minutes. We might make it. We'll make I don't it. Know, we're kind of dragging here. All right, bring them. Move those flip flops. Make them flop faster. Okay. Make sure you don't miss us tomorrow. We're gonna have all for paws, <laughs> an animal with us. Oh, so I'll have two animals with me. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. I'm punny, not funny. Yes, you are. <laughs> okay. Sunrise is at 6.04, and oh, sunset is getting later. I think the longest day of the year, I need to look it up, but it's not too far from now. It's like a week from now. Oh, look at those beautiful purple colors. But a, the sunset's going to be at 8.28. Is that a butterfly bush? What? 828 sunset. 828 sunset. I was just asking if that was a butterfly bush. A lot of cedar up this way. We're a little crooked there, Lise. <laughs> Look at you. Whoop. Okay. All right. Low tide was this morning at 348. High tide's gonna be at 9.37. Then we're gonna have another low tide at 3.41. During the storms this afternoon from 12 o'clock noon till 12 o'clock in the morning, there's a really good chance of some rain, lots of rain. The one so, good thing about the rain is at least if you walk outside, there's no mosquitoes. That's true. But they sure come after the rain. <laughs> yes, they do. So get your galoshers. <laughs> That's right. Or your duck boots. 70 to 80% chance of rain from noon today until mid until midnight. Hey, grab your floaty, make the best of it. <laughs> <laughs> Some well, of these areas can get that much water. Well, if you have to mow the yard or something like that, you need to do it this morning. You need to get your bum out oh, of there. Oh yeah, you, when we get back, you better get started. I know. Ours is like st starting to come around our ankles. Lisa, do you have a favorite bird? Oh. If you had to pick a favorite bird. Well, I grew up with um, cockatoos, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How about in the wild? Do you have a favorite bird in the wild? I mean, I've always loved cardinals, but have I mean... You? That sure was a pretty bird this morning, I'll tell you that much. Blue jays. My favorite bird is a horned owl. 
Isn't that what they're called, horned owls? There's our inlet side. I love owls. But they're predators. They're incredibly, their eyes are just amazing. Have very large pupils. And they're just kind of thick. <laughs> they are, if you look at them, they're like a, almost. Oh, I thought you were talking about they were stubborn. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Owls are amazing critters. Actually, they very, they very they much really are. They really are. I like the little ones. They're kind of cute when they're just little. I they're like, predators. I like, them, I like them shorter. They're killers. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. No, these owls are just ferocious. And I think because they're girthy, they have to eat a lot. So they're hungry. So they're motivated. Motivated by hunger. Yes. I don't know. They always talk about intelligence with owls. And eyesight. They have incredible eyesight. So this owl is a symbol of knowledge. So it's not a bad bird to like. I can agree with that. I never really thought about it. But then my dad had a cockatoo, Tasha. Boy, that was a noisy bird. I can hear her now. She could really raise a racket. So the air temperature out here is 74 degrees. And the water temperature is bathtub 77. Oh. Should have just put on our suits, went on in. I got my suit in, Owen, right now. Well, I don't. <laughs> you feel the wind blowing from the west? Actually, is that a west wind? Yeah, right here. It's blowing from right here. That's two directions. My hair's blowing two ways. <laughs> so you always hear climatologists use the word variable. And basically what that means in the morning, I, I looked it up, is it's coming from a lot of different ways. Like it hasn't quite set in. So once and it's it's variable. It, it's slightly coming from the west and the south and the just slightly. And it, or and and that tends to be what's happening here in the morning. We have variable wind. So the apple say it's coming from the west southwest. We get out here and there's no wind at all because it's variable. But as the day goes on, it kind of sets. So today's wind is definitely gonna be from the west southwest. So you're definitely gonna have some flies and some no see -ums. But you're gonna have to walk here. You're gonna have to walk out here at the ocean probably before noon, because at noon, it's gonna come down. And you're gonna get a little wet. Mm -hmm. Boy, there's the sun. Not yet, it's back there. We got a little cloud cover. You can't afford to fall again. Oh, these aren't slick services. Tell people what happened to you. No, I'm fine. Why would I tell people that? Because it was a big deal. Well, I guess because we are getting wet weather, if you are at a property that has painted steps, please take your time and wear really good shoes. Because I was wearing my flip-flop shoes and was kind of in a hurry. And when I went up the steps just fine, but of course when I came down, 
my feet came out from under me. And luckily my arms, I threw them out in time and caught the railings, but it was still slick because every, you know, everything is, was painted. So I kind of ended up sliding down those stairs on my back a little bit. So I got a couple of bruises, but I'm honestly, you know, I, I just know if I had directly landed on my back, it would have been a whole different story. But because I did have my arms out, it helped. So Dave's been a little worried about me, but I'm fine. I promise. Well, it's bad when you don't like to spoon. <laughs> Seriously, it's bad. Any cuddle. Yeah, say. It's whatever that's called. <laughs> you know, it's, it, it must hurt. Or go to hug somebody. Oh, there's the sun. But I promise you guys, I, I am fine. A little sore. I think I got whiplash from keeping my head from going back. But we're good. Oh, gorgeous. It is gorgeous. But please be careful on steps in wet weather because we haven't really had wet weather yeah we're not used to it not for, really. a, for a while for a while yeah we forget these things so we're good shoes so we've had some incredible uh <laughs> really enthusiastic people about the july 4th parade oh we're excited oh having a Polly's island peeps float that'll be so fun so, my phone has just been going crazy. I went to sleep last night, pretty early. And I got up and there was about 30 messages. <laughs> so, thank you. I'm excited. Good I'm excited. Good morning, Judy. It's going to be fun. I know Debbie's on here. William Page, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Look at that. That is so cool right now. It is cool. Giant, giant ball. I guess I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Careful with that. Careful? Mm hmm How come? Well, you've mastered the phone thing. No. Every time I try to do it, I have those fingertips that don't really do, do what they're supposed to. It's like some people have that magic touch. Me, I have to kind of like warm up my fingers and then touch something. Anybody else have that problem? <laughs> Do you think it's because your fingers are chilly? Is that what it is? So it's not reading the warmth maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Cold hands, warm heart. Maybe you're just tender. Maybe you're just soft. I bet it's because you're soft. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So we're right in between low tide and high tide. I'm just flying across the mm -hmm. sunrise. Oh, I should probably be taking a picky. There you go. So Nicarla, and she's been grabbing some great ones. So we were kind of brainstorming about the July 4th float. I'm thinking we're going to throw people icicles on the side instead of candy and stuff. We'll throw them. Isn't that what they're called? Icicles? What are they called? Popsicles. Popsicles. Icicles. Yes. Icicles. <laughs> Stalactites. Yeah. Straight from the cave. <laughs> we'll be throwing. <laughs> Watch your eyes, folks. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Duck. Because it's always, I've never, I, I mean, I've been in the July 4th parade probably for 10, plus 10, years. To, 10 to 15 years in a row. Because we always have a Tidelands card. Yeah, we do. We always are in a Mustang. Yeah, he drives one and I, I drive one. Yeah. He's always been nice and let me drive the Mustangs. He drives the big. Last year I didn't know I had. It wasn't last year, but the year before. Yeah, the year before. <laughs> I drove the Mustang. Mm-hmm. And you drove... I think an F-150. Yeah. Or a 250. 
And we have a red car, a white car, and a blue car. But this year, I think we're gonna have our trailer behind the truck, and we're gonna decorate the trailer with y'all, you all's help. And we'll have like an all for pause part of the trailer, maybe with dogs and things. And then we'll have Trish and Doug singing. And then we're gonna make a sunrise somehow. Well, the back of our trailer, we actually have that big tailgate part. Mm -hmm. So it'll go, it, we can decorate the back real easy with something. And we'll all be back in the trailer. And then all of you that want to be a part of it, you just jump in the trailer with us. <laughs> It'll be fun. We'll be singing. We'll be partying on 4th of July. That's right. That'll be fun. We still got plenty of time, though. Well, in a way, I don't know. It gets here so quick. I can't believe it's already June 12th. Yeah. I got so, four days of school. Yeah. Well, with kids, we got two full days and two half days. Our kids get out on Thursday. They are so ready though. We've already been kind of cleaning up a little bit and cleaning up the desk. I really do love Georgetown County School System. And if you have your child, please don't forget to register them. I know we have to do it every year, but it doesn't take long. Go ahead and get them registered so we can start getting our things together for next year. What do you love about Georgetown County School System? I mean, just anyone I've ever met, even at the district, um, saw Mr. Price this week in our schools. And we just have so many amazing people that are part of the team. And they really work hard to do what's best for everyone. Sure. I mean, I can't imagine. You know, you have to think of the parents, the kids, the teachers. So you like, the, le variables. You like the leadership, it sounds like. <laughs> yes. That's wonderful. So I got to do a quick change of subject. You were talking about how you can't believe how fast time is going, right? Mm-hmm. And I did a little math yesterday. Oh, You're doing math? I did math yesterday. I did. And I posted it in my stories. And I just have to show you all this. Um, we love our Mustang, Debbie. <laughs> you good girl. Mustangs are awesome. And here is the math. How many days in a year? 365. For some reason, my brain wasn't <laughs> fully engaged. So I posted this number in my stories yesterday. And I asked people if they knew what this was about. Like, what is this number? What's the relevancy of this number? Seconds in a day? And nobody, yeah, people were saying things like all kinds of things. I, I can't really... I mean, there was everything from... Um, how many sea turtles will be hatched this year at Polly's Island? You know, all, all kinds of things like this. That would be cool. But this number represents if I live. Ooh. There was a fish right there. If I live the average age, which I think I would be tickled to, which is 80. This is how many sunrises left to experience. It's kind of sad. It is. <laughs> what average age are you basing it <clears throat> on? 80. What? If, if I know a lot of people live, but I mean, my grandfather died at... 50. Yes. But your parents were in their 80s. Right. So if you're 80 years old or older, don't let this be a downer. A downer, yeah. but it's an eye opener to me. This is if you just change this to money and we were to give you this much money right now. Oh. You'd be happy. But you wouldn't say I'm retiring and never working again. You'd say 
that'll last me a little while. Thank you. You probably wouldn't see it as like life-changing <laughs> money, right? This is all the days, and, and this is probably- There's a reason they call it monetary value. Yeah. I'm just, just saying, it was really eye-opening to me. Now, you ready for something else? Divide this by seven. Here I go. Good morning, Ellen. I really, I really broke this down. That is how many weeks? 1,512 weeks left. Until you're 80? Until I'm 80 years old, which is the... 78 is actually the average. I just rounded up. Are you that old? I'm 51. Oh, no, are you doing your math right? That just seems like it is a math. downer, William. It is, but it, <laughs> I, I, it truly <laughs> tell him, William. But the exciting right, thing here, have a better scripture. No, <laughs> no, this is this is huge. This is life changing. Putting things in perspective. Yeah, I'm not trying to focus on the. You only have so many days to live, so make the most of it. I'm not trying to get that out of it. What I'm trying to say is. Use your time wisely. No. I'm trying to say, on it, tell the people you love, spend the time you can with the people you love because I'm 51 years old and this is how many weeks I have left with them to, to really tell them. 1,512 weeks. Lucy, you guys are explaining to do. <laughs> what is, that's how many days you have to tell the people you love that you love them. This is how many days you have left. This is how many sunsets we have left to enjoy together, y'all. If you're oh. if you're 51, if you're my age. I was say, dude. <laughs> That's true. Not a and lot. And if of, they're not, if they're older, you just you're. You're on. gonna live to be a hundred, there, William. Don't you worry <laughs> about that, my man. Oh. Our son climbed into a cloud bank. Yep. So enjoy this. Enjoy life. Life is too short. Yes, that's that's so good. It is. Enjoy it. Spend. You know, it says in the Bible, it's like a. What does it say? It says like fleeting or a. It's like a wind. No, it's like a puff of smoke or something like that. <laughs> I can't remember the exact one. Holly knows it. She'll tell us. All right, well, give me give me some good news. Now. Okay, here's the good news. You ready? Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Every day is a gift. Anna, that is true. Amen. All right, you ready for some good news? I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be quiet and let you read. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. Psalm 103, 12. As far as the east is from the west. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about that on the way here because really that's that's infinite. East and west, they extend forever. Opposites, right? Your lines. Extend forever. I love that it's no longer present, that it's no longer there at all. It's, it's wiped clean. So if you allow the evil one to throw guilt on you for things. That you've already asked God to forgive. You've already repented. Wow. Yeah, there's fists jumping right here, y'all. Just, Even the fish are saying amen this morning. We pray that, uh, you know, you wipe it clean in your mind. You've been forgiven. I mean, wake up and start your day fresh and new. If you have any amends to make, make them. But move forward. Don't wallow in it. Move forward. Amen, Lisa. There's not one, one thing under the sun that hasn't happened before. 
And there's no one here that's never made a mistake. I mean, there are things that are intentional and things that are unintentional. It does start with God, though. God will help you make the intentional best choices. Right. But those best choices, they're so much easier to make with God. They're only possible with God. True that. Now you're making some sense. Amen. Because <laughs> then I think about 10,000 and something weeks beside you. Oof. No, that's days. That's, oh. So I sent this okay. to Lisa yesterday. I got to share this. Oh. I, I, I just got to share this because it was really a moment of clarity yesterday when this popped into my head. And uh, You get a lot of pops in that head. I know. And I wasn't sure I was going to share this, but... Um, oh, Lord. I did. I just sent you this. I said, um, do you remember what I s sent you, the message? No. Yes, you do. I <laughs> don't. Oh, my goodness. I work you for sent back a teary face and everything. Oh, it was about your commitment yes. to us. Uh, yeah, to us and to... So I said we, we only have... It on a, if we're blessed, we only have that many days. Good morning. If we're blessed, this is approximately how many days I have left. That was 10,950. No matter what we do for a career or what happens in life, I've got several things that are unwavering. Number one, I'll profess Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior every single day. Number two, I will tell you I love you and I want to spend the rest of my days with you. Number three, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll probably have gas every day. Sorry, folks, but that's the reality. And number four, I'll do anything to protect my children and you from harm. There you go. True moment of clarity yesterday. I just think it's crazy you put the gas before protecting your wife and kids. <laughs> There's no order there. I prom Well, there, there actually is. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus for sure. No, but sadly, it's probably true, the order that you put. <laughs> yep. You can't be my giant man-child sometimes. But I love you. <laughs> you makes me laugh. All right. Look at these colors. It is beautiful. The the blue sky on the opposite side. I'm gonna do this real quick, y'all. We got a little bit of potential rainbow over here. Oh, look right there. You're getting one right there. Yeah. You see the colors. You see the red and the pink right there. Yeah, I see it. On the right hand side. Potential. Yeah, you're starting to see it. And then the blue. I believe God to be loving and forgiving if you ask. That is that is so true, William. Feel that wind here. Feels good. You right. You're thinking about working out now. I am. You saw him all buff, <laughs> running. <laughs> He's like, I want to do that. Mm-hmm. These pelicans out here crack me up. What's so crazy is, you know how deep this water actually, I mean, it's pretty deep. It is pretty deep right here. Can y'all see the pelicans? You start walking and all of a sudden, you're, you know, you're at your waist. So don't let it fool you. This is a little deeper here between that and it's moving. and this. And it's moving too. I wonder if we got any baby sharks up there. I wonder. Usually in these little tidal pool areas, these little... There's little, little, little guys. So when you're fishing, a lot of people catch the little tiny, fit, the, the tiny sharks. Baby shark song just popped in my head. Yep. 
and it took everything I could not to start singing it. <laughs> oh, but we love singing. No, I'm not gonna do it. I still think we should learn how to play the guitar. I do too. I wanna play the guitar. Maybe Holly will give us a lesson or two. All right, Lisa, you ready? You got more to talk about? I am good right now, I think. All right. Holly's giving us some likes. That means <laughs> she's excited to help us learn the guitar. The guitar. You know, my grandfather played the guitar and he was just, I mean, he was, he, you know, he had an opportunity to be, to be in Nashville, but he chose to stay home and follow his, I he was a minister. Yeah, he, he could have, he could have been big in Nashville, but he wow. chose to stay home and uh, raise his family and just... And to fish. He liked to fish. He loved to fish. That was David, right? No, I'm talking about Luther. Luther oh, Luther. Thomas, wow. LT. Wow. Luther had the music in him. Hmm. I love to hear him sing. He sang like Johnny Cash. He did sing beautifully. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. He was 80. You ready to sign out? God bless you. God keep you. And help you make his choices the best choices today and every day. Yes. And one of the choices today, right now, is to ask God for forgiveness and say... Thank you for that forgiveness. Say, say Lord, I, I messed up and I'm sorry. Yeah. And know Own that it. know that it's as far as from the east, east to the west is to the <laughs> west in that in that true y'all because we don't our our days are numbered life's too short not to ask for that forgiveness right this minute and to step forward in faith and move forward yes give it to jesus keep going all right signing out we love you guys happy saturday enjoy it love all right you. bye y'all